Hello everyone, it's me once again. So this uh, username called In Search of the Truth on the top here asked me a very interesting question. Uh, he says, Hi, can you use your phone as a hotspot for Vector to get info if Wi-Fi is not available? As you know, this system is um, uh, connected to Wi-Fi. And what if we actually want to carry it? So this is actually a potential information that I'm recording, whether you could use it um, outside, more making it more portable, okay? So there are quite a lot of excitement. So I actually made a promise, especially to a username called Suman Roy, who's always been kind to me since I've been uploading Vector, that I'm going to upload this video. So here I am. So let's get on with it. Okay, so the first thing you do is you go out from, oh, you don't go to the Vector Robot um, app yet, you go to Settings if you're a iOS iPhone user. You click on that and you go to um, Personal Hotspot. Okay, so you turn on the hotspot and make sure the Wi-Fi, which I changed to Cool Vector on. So that's all on. Let's see um, if it works on one uh, phone because I believe you need two phones. So let fingers crossed, let's hope that this will work on one phone. What I mean by one phone is that, uh, enable Wi-Fi, here you go, the problem, is that um, to be able to connect a vector, you need to get, sorry, you, you have to either turn on the Wi-Fi or personal hotspot. You can't do two things at once. So therefore, you need an additional phone to set it up. So what I'm going to do is I have, my wife has a lovely um, iPhone tennis. I'm going to install that app and then I'm going to use this as a source of a hotspot but use her phone as the setting up. It's all installed on my wife's um, phone <clears throat> under my login so you do the same procedure of how you know you type in your username and um, all the instructions so it's all logged in so that's all ready to go and the uh, on the other side what, what I need to do is as I said before from my previous video let's turn on the personal hotspot um, but as I said you can't turn on the personal hotspot while you turn on the Wi-Fi as well. So purely now it's a source of a personal hotspot using a data. Okay, so what you do is you go to, I believe it's um, settings, network, okay, reconnecting vector, right? So we're actually connecting it to vector now. Um, and it says, uh, network search. So let's go for network search. And here it goes. I got Young's iPhone. That's my iPhone here. And enter the password. So it was cool vector, isn't it? So let's type in cool vector. And let's join the network and see how it works. All right. So you can see the sign here that it says one personal hotspot is connected on the top. Okay, and um, let's see. So it's all connected. It's finding, connecting to the Bluetooth, configuring Wi-Fi with Vector. Okay, I think it's working. Can't connect to Vector. Try again, oh come on. It should work. I mean, it's all in theory, but um, this is exactly the way how I installed. Um, oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. This is how exactly how I installed my Alexa on my car, but um, it's uh, bad news, everyone. It says, can't connect to Vector because both Vector and your device must be on the same 2.4 gigahertz network to communicate with each other. So, um, my theory is that why I think that this phone, um, this phone, sorry, hasn't got the 2.4 gigahertz network. 
to communicate each other. So it's a very bad news actually. Um, I don't know whether this one is actually 2.4 gigahertz. I, I'm not sure about all these figures, but it seems so far it's not working. So let's see if I could, could try the other way around and I'll come back to you again. Okay, so I swapped it around now. So my wife's iPhone XS is providing the hotspot data. As you can see that blue uh, corner on the top is basically saying that the hotspot is on, ready to go. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it again. And uh, through, this is iPhone 6, 6S by the way. Okay, so um, let's see if Oh, there you go. So can't connect to Vector. And um, I was hoping that because this is iPhone XS, you might actually have that capacity of 2.4 gigahertz. I don't know what that means, actually. I'm not an IT expert. But apparently, if you, your router, your device uh, that provides internet must be having a, must have a 2.4 gigahertz of network to communicate to each other. It seems the iOS um, device, even the latest, um, iPhone XS don't have that capacity um, or maybe it's not designed to provide that um, that uh, frequency so I'm sorry guys it doesn't work on the iOS I'm not sure whether it's going to work on the Android um, the thing is if you can't wait until so you can't find if you can't find any videos of someone doing it on the an Android with two phones actually one that the uh, Android being the um, the hotspot provider, um, I'll do it when I get my Google Pixel 3 XL on the 1st of November. Unfortunately, I can't do that test until I get that. So uh, the news is, no, you cannot get connected. Uh, you can't use your iPhone iOS uh, handset as a um, hotspot provider. So that's a confirmation here. So I'm sorry, guys, uh, but hope that was helpful. This is LJP. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.